Our next honoree is Norman Bell Sr. He is a retiree, but he stays very active in his community, and he's also the father of Mayor Michael Bell. Hello, I'm Shirley Green. I'm Deputy Mayor of Public Safety and Human Relations for the City of Toledo. I work for Mayor Michael P. Bell. I'm here to nominate Michael P. Bell's father, Norman Bell, for the Fatherhood Hero Award. I have known Mr. Bell my whole life. I grew up in the same neighborhood that he located his family in when he migrated up here from Louisiana. I've always known Mr. Bell to be a kind man, a gentleman, and a stalwart in our North End community. I think he is the perfect type of person to uh, get the Fatherhood Hero Award. He has always shown himself to be an exemplary father, and he was always an outstanding uh, member of our community out Stickney. So I want to congratulate him on getting this award. First, I'd like to say thanks to um, all who had anything to do with my standing before you today as it relates to this award. I, first of all, before I go any further, I want to have my wife, Aura. Would you stand? Because. I could not have done it without her. She has been strong and solid. We've been together now 59 years. I met her uh, at, at Southern University some years ago. And this afternoon, I met a gentleman. And he, he met her, this gentleman right here. He said he thought she was my sister. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, my daughter. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm, I'm from a broken home. I came up with a stepfather. My biological father was available, but my stepfather came into my life, and I had two dads. <clears throat> it was an interesting process because I would spend time with my biological father some weekends, not every weekend and my stepfather was available at all times. <clears throat> I made up in my mind early on when I got remarried and we started to have children that I was going to be committed to the relationship and do what I possibly could. Now, I wasn't always uh, as comfortable as I'd like to be in this arrangement because, you know, when you're that age and we married quite young, there are always other things that come through your mind that you want to do and you say, well, maybe I made a mistake. But the inner spirit within me said, Norman, this is your responsibility. You've got to remain on board, do what, what you have to do in order to see that these children that you are responsible for receive the kind of guidance and direction that they need. I became committed and followed the spirit. And as a result of that, uh, there are some good things that can come out of Stickney Avenue. And Stickney's been in the news. <laughs> out of Stickney and the bungalow that we live in. You have a former fire chief, state fire marshal, and now the mayor of the city of Toledo, my son, right now. You have another son that came out of the bungalow on Stickney 2547, which was in the, in the paper. Everybody know where I live. <laughs> An assistant superintendent of school. Well, not an assistant, but a superintendent of school. Euclid, Ohio. Out of Stickney, the bungalow that we live in, another son who is a pharmaceutical district manager and has six states that he monitors for a firm called Tara came out of, out of uh, the bungalow in Stickney. All the college graduates. We give God the glory for what has happened and what's continuing to happen as we speak. Now the grandchildren of are starting to leave college at this point. One granddaughter, my son that died, the fourth son, she's a graduate of John Carroll University 
and is now working in marketing for the casino. A second grandson who just completed, not just completed, but three years ago, completed Bowling Green University and now works for Disney in, in, in Orlando, Florida. We are committed to academic achievement, a scholarship. We push it all the time, even if they're not our kids, we do it for our other children. This is what we're all about. God be, give us the glory. We are very, very pleased and excited about what's happening at this particular time. And I prefer this kind of celebration as opposed to later on when I'm in a casket, people yeah. slow and moan and low about what you want to accomplish. <laughs> Thank you for listening.